Now we knew that Dubai had some very very cool police cars, one of them being the Bugatti Veyron, but Italy also has a couple of very nice supercar police cars, and now they have a new one, which is the Lamborghini Urus Performante. So I want to show you what's going on with this design here, and what the Lamborghini themselves actually did to create this beast of a police car. If you're having a high speed chase, you do not want to be the one that has an Urus Performante chasing you. So let's have a look at this article from Car Scoops on what this Urus is all about. So the Urus will be used by the police for quickly transporting organs as well as plasma. And the Dubai police better step up their game as Italy's police has taken delivery of a special Lamborghini Urus Performante. I don't think Dubai's police need to step anything up because because as I said, you have an Aventador, they even have an Aston Martin 177 in their official police force. So I think Italy still has a way to go to catch up to what Dubai has for when it comes to police cars. So besides the special livery, the Euros has been outfitted with a slender LED bar that you can see up here. I think it looks very cool on an Urus and it, this has 360 coverage so you have uh, light all around here the crossover has also been outfitted with a two-tone siren of course you need a siren since it is a police car and when we jump into Photoshop we want to talk more about this Urus design because I have two different ways where I think the Urus could go when it comes to design one very futuristic based on the Cyan design and that we also saw now in the new Revo Alto and then another one that is a throw kind of a throwback and clean up this design. I'm going to show you both of those redesigns in uh, later on in this video. So the upgrades continues in the cabin and there is a special sw a special switch gear, an armored weapons box and a flip down message message display. The model also sports a unique cargo compartment which houses a defibrillator and a portable fridge for transporting organs. You still have the twin turbo uh, V8 4 liter producing 657 horsepower, 627 pound feet of torque. Uh, of course, you do have all wheel drive. This being a pretty much the drivetrain is still an Urus Performante 0 to 60 in 3.3 seconds. Top speed 190 miles per hour. So, if you really need an organ really quickly to the hospital, I mean, what better car than an Urus Performante to get it there? The sixth Lamborghini to enter service with the Italian Highway Police and 2024 will mark the 20th anniversary of the collaboration. I do believe they started with a Lamborghini Gallardo which unfortunately was crashed but I do think they got a new one after that and the CEO of Lamborghini says knowing that our cars are used for public duties and above all for crucial operations to save human lives can only make me and the whole company proud uh, I think it's a cool collaboration between the Italian police and the um, uh, brand that is Lamborghini. I do wish that would be cool to see here as well. For example, a 4 GT police car. I'm not sure how well that will go down with the taxpayers though. Here we have the police car compared to the normal Lamborghini Urus on the on the right side, the perf normal, it's still the Performante. I want to show you a couple of differences that we do have with the police car just for fun. The thing about this is I wish they had the these wheels because these wheels to me that we have on this Performante here is one of the best looking wheels that we have from Lamborghini. It's such a cool design. We have a similar design but fewer holes. We have five holes here almost like Alfa Romeo but but way more chiseled this being a Lamborghini and here we have I do believe we have seven so one two three four five six seven. I definitely prefer the seven hole design to the uh, five hole that we have in the uh, in the police car. You can see they do have added lights in the front end. Korean uh, Lamborghini design still intact obviously the only thing that changes here on the outside are a couple of lights and the livery of this car looking at the side view and it's cool that this livery was uh, designed in-house by Lamborghini themselves so they had um, a, a free hand when it comes to even designing how the exterior graphics should look and I do like what's going on here because we have a lot of different uh, things going on we have the Italian flag with the uh, green, white, and red with this stripe that fades into the rear mirror here. Then we have the checkered flag in the bottom looking almost like a British sort of style. Police um, vibe. Interesting font. I think this font looks almost too comical for being a police car but it still has some cool nice radiuses to it. And I assume that this is the vehicle number 
for the police fleet. But here you can clearly see the differences between these two wheel designs. And again, I definitely, definitely prefer this design that we have here. It just looks so good to have specifically on the Performante. I also like that uh, in the uh, non-police Performante, we do have this black piece that removes a lot of this mass that we have. Since this is the SUV, it's still a Lamborghini. We wanna have it be athletic and lean. And I think playing around with, around with graphics really helps with that. Then we have this sharp edge. We have almost like a um, structure piece in the middle with these two lines and if we continue this line you can see that it has a connection to the front end design it goes into this little chamfer that we have here or this little uh, design feature in the front end looking at the rear end not really a lot going on on the police car I do think we do have an additional wing if you're gonna transport organs at 190 miles per hour the last thing you want is to lose grip of the rear axle so they added a, a wing up top that we actually do have that that's my mistake we still have it here on the uh, Performante as well. Other details that are specific for the Performante is this wing that we have right over or behind the rear axle, adding some more airflow through the rear fenders. And I do love the, the lower piece of the diffuser with the th uh, quad uh, bazooka tailpipes that we have down low, all in black as well, again, to reduce this mass. Interior-wise, this is, I think, the new control panel that is specific for the police car because we don't have this on the uh, non-police uh, Urus. Overall, it's, it's a good interior, even though everything here still is all digital, all pixelated, but at least we do have a separation between the infotainment screen and the climate control settings. And what this means is that the climate control settings screen is always going to be static. It's always gonna be there. So you don't, you can't change this screen into anything else, which means that it's pretty easy still to change the temperature on the Lamborghini Urus. Now, a couple of things here. I want to show you, uh, I did a few redesigns over the years of the Urus. Here's one that uh, I think the front end sits a little too low in this case, but it's just an idea of where Lamborghini could take the Urus um, for, for the next generation. And this is, as you can see, clearly inspired by the um, Cyan, and I do think this is the philosophy that Lamborghini is going to use for their next Urus to have this Y shape that we now also actually saw in the Revo Alto, and I'm not sure if it's going to be intact in the new Gallardo um, Huracan replacement. I don't think they're going to have this Y shape there. And then you have the headlight being mounted up here. The second redesign I made is going back to the Murcielago, the original Gallardo style, and I do wish that we saw in Urus like this, and that is just a throwback Urus to what it could look like if it came out in 2002, 2003, and that is to take uh, the, the inspiration from the Gallardo and the uh, Murcielago and add it, apply it onto the Urus proportions. And honestly, I think this would look like a very, very cool SUV from Lamborghini, even though it's not gonna happen since this is a design language specifically when it comes to the graphics from the past but it would still be a pretty cool little throwback design from Lamborghini.